The latest on Erin Andrews and her blockbuster $75 million lawsuit against the hotel, where a stalker secretly recorded a nude video of her. Andrews cried in court yesterday as her father testified that she is a shell of her former self. ABC's Eva Pilgrim is covering the trial in Nashville. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. Aaron Andrews fighting back after suffering through an unthinkable crime. A stalker videotaping her changing in her hotel room. This morning, she returns to court. Her lawyer blaming the hotel for that video. An emotional day in court filled with painful memories. She kept screaming, I'm, I'm on the Internet, I'm on the Internet, I'm naked. Aaron Andrews wiping away tears as her father recounted her horror of being filmed through a peephole at a Tennessee Marriott by Michael David Barrett. I feared for her life. If she wouldn't eat, she wouldn't bathe, she wouldn't talk, all she would do is cry. Andrews now suing Barrett as well as the owners and managers of that Marriott for $75 million, claiming the hotel intentionally placed Barrett next door to the TV star. Her lawyer saying the hotel failed to notice he removed and altered the people on her door using a hacksaw to make the hole bigger. He stands there for four and a half minutes and videos her. Andrews told GMA in 2010 about how her father had reacted to the news. And I remember my dad saying to me, you may have a stalker. And I, I just started to scream, Dad, don't say that. Don't say that word. The hotel claims Barrett is a criminal who tricked them into gaining access. He deceived, he connived, he stalked. The hotel's lawyer saying he found her room number by calling from an employee phone to ask which room Andrews was staying in, then booking the room next to hers. Barrett later posting the videos online, eventually pleading guilty to stalking in 2010 and sentenced to 30 months in prison. She just went into her room and closed the doors and put blankets up over the windows. Even in her own home, she didn't feel safe. Andrew's father says the job she once loved. I am happy to report. Crowds at games became terrifying, remembering her return to ESPN in September 2009. We had spoken just seconds before she went on the air and she was in tears. It's been eight years and he says his daughter still isn't the same. She's full of anxiety. She's a very, very changed person. She's not the girl that we used to know. Now, more witnesses are expected to be called, including that stalker. This case is expected to last as long as two weeks. George. Okay, Eva, thanks. Dan Abrams back now to talk about this. And the newest member of our legal team, Sonny Hassan. Welcome. Thank you. To ABC. Thank nice you. To see you, Sonny. Yes, yes. yes. It's wonderful to be here. Thank well, you. That means you get the first question. Okay. Tell us about the impact of this father's testimony. You know, I think it could be very significant because this case is about what effect did this have on Aaron Andrews? What effect does it have on a woman when she is surreptitiously videotaped while naked and that videotape is all over the internet for the world to see and he says she is a shell of a person i think the seven women and five men on that jury will listen to that and that will be a really significant for them 75 million dollars yeah. worth well typically you know this sort of testimony would be viewed as emotional kind of character but in this case it's actually really relevant to the question of damages right when you're trying to assess how much is this case worth and the father is saying yeah. she is no longer the person she was. Here is how she has suffered. Now you're not just talking about the emotional side. You're talking dollars. You're talking about the amount she has suffered. Therefore, the plaintiff's hope can trans, trans, transition into a big, um, a big verdict here. But, 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 Sonny, as Dan pointed out yesterday, $75 million is multiples of what people normally get in a wrongful death lawsuit. I, I think that's right, and it's a big number, sure. But how do you put a price tag on emotional distress? How do you put a price tag on what I think is every woman's nightmare? Again, naked pictures of you taken and posted all over the Internet. I think the jury will likely send a message. Sometimes these judgments are symbolic. And the jury may send a message that says, listen, you can't do this to women. You can't do this to Aaron Andrew and Andrews, and you're going to pay for they it. They could and send it, a powerful message. And if right? they do, the question is going to be who pays it, right? Because right. there's no question that the guy who did this is the one who's primarily responsible. There's also no question he doesn't have real money. So the, the big legal question is going to be how much does the hotel pay in connection with that, with that if, verdict? If anything. We only yeah. have anything. a few seconds left. Think we'll see Aaron Andrews on the stand? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. No question. Sure. Yeah.